to Seymour High School. I'm Mike DeGorsi. I'll be joined by Bar Eve Assistant Principal and Athletic Director Aaron Ash here shortly. It is semi-state action this afternoon. Bar Eve and Clay City getting ready to square off today. Bar Eve enters today's contest with a 25-2 season record. Clay City comes in 24-4. And, and as we talked about last week at this point of the season, it's easier to talk about who you have lost to than who you have actually beaten. Bar Eve, the lone losses this year, a game uh, against Orleans in the Graver Post Buildings Classic. The Vikings fell 43-36 to in a game. Quite frankly, uh, the Vikings did not play well. Orleans obviously had something to do with that. Their other loss was to Altoff Catholic High School in Illinois by a final count of 82-68. to And important to mention that game right now because uh, Altoff Catholic High School is participating today in the Illinois 3A state championship game. And Altoff Catholic will look to win their first state championship. So that loss, nothing uh, to hang your head about as, as Altoff Catholic going for a state championship today in Illinois. Clay City comes into today's contest 24-4 and on the season. Winners of the White River Valley sectional. And then last week, the Greensburg Regional. The, the four losses for Clay City this year. They were knocked off by North Knox back on December uh, 2nd. 75-71. Uh, they were kind of throttled December 23rd by Brownstown in the Graber Post Buildings Classic. 77-45. A surprise loss to Vincennes Reve, 60-51. And then uh, more recently, a 12.75-63 loss to Lenton High School. So Clay City comes into today's contest 24-4. Clay City victorious last week in the Greensburg sectional. They knocked off Indianapolis Tindley in the opener, 46-45, to a close contest, and then rolled in the nightcap over Jackson Dell, a familiar foe to the Vikings. They knocked off Jackson Dell, 61-43. So that's how Clay City got here, and they enter 24-4, and, and of course the Vikings, 25-2. We're going to take another two-minute timeout, and when we come back, we'll be joined by Bar Eve Assistant Principal and Athletic Director Aaron Ash, and we'll talk about all sorts of stuff going on around Indiana today, and specifically Viking Nation. Back to Seymour High School after this two-minute timeout. Got it. because these Clay City people are right on his bench down there. I think it's going to be an ass kicking again. I hope so. behind the bench so he did I did oh you did <laughs> good I said I just told him I said Brian's gonna be pissed because when we got here they were moving people out of from center court over and I said guys this isn't gonna work and so fine our people did a pretty decent job at least staying where you know yeah, a little bit in the ballpark these people over here I mean heck came all the way down here right I mean at least right behind our bench, there's really nothing. Okay. And go. Back at Seymour High School, I'm Mike DeCourcy, joined alongside by Aaron Ash, and it's IHSAA Semi-State 
contest here, getting ready to get underway. Clay City, Bar Reeve, and uh, Mr. Ash, as your role of uh, athletic director this week, take us through some of uh, of your week. I know I know you've been busy, but it's the it's the type of busy that uh, it makes the work fun. Yeah, it's you know Monday. Each time you win a tournament uh, on the weekend, you know Monday you usually go uh, to the host site, you know, for a meeting, get the tickets. Uh, kind of go over, you know, the ins and outs of how they're going to handle ticket sales and seating and uh, different things like that. Uh, so it's always a fun fun trip on Monday because that means that you've done something pretty special on the weekend. So it's always an enjoyable trip. So we came Monday to Seymour. Um, you know, the boys came over Wednesday, I believe, and practiced. Um, had a good meal after that on the way home. And then, uh, you know, we ended ticket sales Friday morning and, um, you know, had really good help in the office. Carmen and Katrina did a great job all week selling tickets. Um, you know, they, they do a lot. They deserve a lot of credit uh, for all the work that they do in the office during this busy time. And you know, like we said before, this is what six the sixth week in a row that that we've uh, you know been fortunate enough to do that in the office. So it's it, it is busy work. Um, you know, whenever you're at this level, you've got to do a lot of work uh, for next week as well. Just in the you know, in the scenario that you do win, um, the HSA requires everything by 12 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning. So, you know, there's not a big turnaround time. You've got to get all the stuff for the programs turned in. Um, so that would be work that's done kind of tonight and, and kind of tomorrow morning. Um, you know, we, we kind of work ahead a little bit. Just got to be prepared. So that's, that's kind of the week, um, kind of in a nutshell. Um, if we do win this week, the next week gets a little crazier. There's just... There's just more things that uh, go on. You've got reserve seating, so uh, ticket sales are a little tougher um, to handle and deal with whenever there's reserve seating uh, versus open seating. So, you know, it's a good problem to have, though. We had it last year, and um, we were on spring break last year, which made it even more difficult. So it should be a little bit easier not being on spring break, um, having people here. So that, that will make ticket sales hopefully next week a little bit easier. But it's, it's fun work, Mike, and... You got, you got a lot of people all with the same goal, and um, you know, it's it's just fun to be in the office, fun to be at school whenever uh, whenever winning is taking place. Yeah, absolutely, and and these teams have both done a lot of winning the last couple of years, Bari and Clay City. Uh, a rematch from last year, we've talked about it. We'll, we'll get into it a little bit more. Bari with two convincing wins the last year. Uh, but last year, as we know, Mrs. doesn't necessarily mean anything as of right now. Cafeteria. We're going to take another two-minute break, and when we come back, we'll talk about those games last year Mr. and what Thompson, you can expect out of Clay City today. Classes back to Seymour High School after this two-minute timeout. Mr. Thompson's sixth and seventh period classes will be in Cavanaugh Court. Thank you. <laughs> they were trying to push people over and then these people you can see those two people down there from Jennings County came and plopped right in the front row and in, in our people in, in our section well, yeah, kind of over on the other side of our section and I said well, what are you going to do with these people I said I don't think they're from Richmond well I don't know <laughs> I said so basically if our people don't have a bar shirt on they can sit wherever they want yeah one announcement here well done getting a six period student uh, if It'd be you different ever if they hadn't done this 28,000 times. Well, they tried to put us both on the same side. You need uh, to ask I, your teacher or the high school office to go to the nurse. Go to the nurse, and then the nurse will make it's that determination. There are two or three rows behind each bench. Making a phone call to their parents. Parents are showing up. That's not how we do it. It's open seating. You can ask your parents to come to the nurse. You can suggest where each school is supposed to sit. Take care of you. But after that, Make sure you get people set wherever to they the want. Nurse, you really have no way of the telling them that they have to move. Determination whether or not you need to go home. So do not call home and have the parents show up. Thank you. <laughs> Those Clay City people think that's like Channel 10 News down there. <laughs> oh, our, that's our guy. <laughs> okay.
back at Seymour High School. Clay City and Bar Eve out on the floor warming up. Bar Eve and their visiting blacks. Clay City will be in their home whites here this afternoon. I'm Mike DeCourcy, joined alongside by Bar Eve Assistant Principal and Athletic Director Aaron Ash. Quite frankly, Coach Ash, these two teams squared off two times last year. Two convincing Bar Eve victories. A 20-point win and a 30-point win. But last year means nothing today. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the, the Gray Repose... Uh, Bari probably put together the best performance or one of the best performances of the year last year and just came out and absolutely blitzed the Clay City team that I believe was undefeated going into that game. Uh, I don't think they had lost a game last year going into the Graver Post and they were very hyped up and uh, Bari just absolutely took the wind out of their sails. Um, and then, you know, coming into semi-state, you knew it was going to be a tougher contest. But again, Bar Reeve just came out and played so well early on, got that lead, and Clay City you know, had a barrage of threes in that second half, fourth quarter especially, uh, where they kept trying to cut into the lead back and forth. Uh, and Bar Reeve ended up still winning by 20 points by making, you know, knocking down free throws. Uh, I do expect uh, a little bit different today. Clay City's had a, you know, they've had a full year, and this is what their goal has been all year. Um, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong to say that, and I know some of them said that in the, you know, the interviews after last week. They won. This is what they've been looking forward to all year. They wanted another chance uh, because I'm sure that they felt like they played very poorly twice against Bar Eve last year, and they just feel like they've got something to prove, and it's going to be a hard-fought battle both ways. Clay City's very talented, uh, guard-centered. Uh, they're going to spread us out. They're going to drive us. They're going to look to kick, and they're going to shoot a lot of threes. And if you have a night where those threes are falling, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what I think Clay City needs to have happen is they're going to have to really shoot the ball well. Uh, Bar Reeves defensively is probably one of the better teams Clay City has went up against. Bar Reeves is a very patient defensive team. Um, they, they do a nice job keeping the ball out of the lane. They do a nice job having hands up on shooters. Um, so if Bar Reeves can defend the way that they're capable of and the way they've had the way they have the most for most of the year, I, I think Bar Eve is going to put themselves in a good position um, to hold Clay City, you know, down offensively. All right, so Clay City and Bar Eve out on the floor, warming up, getting ready, and we're going to take another two-minute timeout. When we come back, we'll talk about the style of play that Clay City likes to exhibit. Back to Seymour High School after this two-minute timeout. If they were smart, they would utilize the style to spread the floor out. I, it's one of those things I just don't... I, that's you not know, in, it's, it's not in their DNA. It's not their DNA, man. man. And, and you feel like you do that, you're really going away from what, what you truly believe. And they haven't done it all year. Yeah. So then to just try it, that's, that's tough to do. Caleb, you count all our spots yet? You get a chance to do that. Okay. I've got us. I have eight done after this. Melody Daily. <laughs> Give her a hello here in a second. Assistant Principal and Athletic Director Aaron Ash. I'm Mike DeGorsey. Hello, and a special shout-out to one of our all-time favorites, Coach Ash. 
one of the great English teachers in the history of Barry High School, and uh, somebody that doesn't travel very much. Melody the Daily, listening 84 degrees in Florida, sitting by a pool. Li life is tough. Life is tough for uh, Mrs. Daly. She's uh, sitting poolside <laughs> right now, uh, listening to uh, listen to our broadcast, hoping for a Viking victory. I'm sure. Um, I'm a little jealous with the with the 84 degrees, I believe. 84 yeah, 84. Degrees sunshine. That's rough. Man, oh man, retirement is nice, but but well deserved. She is uh, a wonderful teacher at Barre for several years, and and now she's enjoying the good life. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, I kidded her on Facebook last week. I said, I said you need to, you're retired now. Get out and travel a little bit. Every time I see a picture of her, she's in some different sunny location living it up with her, uh, with her husband and some friends and uh, just having a great time. And, hey, that's the way that it ought to be. Well, let's talk about this Clay City team today, Coach Ash. At Welcome back to Seymour High School. Starting lineups being introduced right now. Bar Reed, the visiting team on the scoreboard, they are going to be introduced first. And no surprise, the Vikings are going to go the way that they have gone virtually the entire season. It is a three-guard set. Logan James. Logan is a six-foot-one junior. Logan is the point guard and Bar Reed's all-time assists leader. He's joined in the backcourt by Chris Whitmer. Whitmer is a six-foot senior. Third guard in the starting set for the Vikings today, Seth Swartz and Trouber. Seth is a six-foot senior as well. In the post today for the Vikings, a pair of six-foot, five-inch seniors. Duncan Roy. Duncan, six-foot, five. And Duncan comes into today's contest averaging about 12 points a game. Another six-five senior, Addison Wagler. Addison is now Bar Reeves' all-time leading scorer in every basket he adds separates himself from number two that much more. Addison, a six foot five inch senior as well. Vikings are coached by Brian Hughes. Coach Hughes earlier this year won his 500th game in the state of Indiana with a December 6th victory over Michigan City Marquette Catholic. Clay City being introduced right now and as Coach Ash like to talk about, Clay City plays pretty fast. They like to drive, they like to kick, they like to shoot a lot of threes. Bar Reed will have the size advantage here today. However, Clay City coached by Vance Edmondson. Vance Edmondson, a graduate of North Davies High School, an Oakland City University player as well. And Clay City, they will have some familiar names today as they have four starters back from last season. Play City is going to go like this. It's basically, Coach Ash, a five-guard set. And Play City is going to go with everybody under six feet, three inches tall. Their starting lineup today looks like this. Trevor Singer. Singer is six foot three, and he is a senior. Singer is joined in the starting lineup today by Evan Rogers. Rogers is a six-two senior. Another senior, Logan Sessinger. Sessinger is six foot three, also a senior. Easton Boo, the fourth senior for Clay City, he is six foot one. And then Noah Dinker, Dinker is five foot eight, and he is a junior. And Clay City, a pretty short bench. Brigham Boo comes off the bench. Boo is a six foot freshman. So both teams out, shaking hands right now, going through the greetings, and we are getting ready for action. So Duncan Roy steps into the center circle. Bar Reeves' fifth trip to the IHSAA semi-state. They are 4-0 here at Barney Scott Gymnasium here at Seymour. Official stands in. One last bit of advice, instruction to the players. Bounces the ball a few times. Tips up. It's going to be controlled. Tap back. Play City grabs it first. Looks like Bar Reeves starting. 
Man to man. And down the lane quickly. Shot going to be blocked by Addison Wagler. And here come the Vikings out on the runs. Chris Whitmer layup good. 2 nothing ball read. Well, Mike, and you saw right away they tried to drive on Addison Wagler. Addison with good defense, had his hands up, blocked the shot, and that pre that went right into transition basket for Barreed. Clay City with it, down the lane, they're going to kick it back. Bar City, uh, Barreed into a 3-2 zone, it looks like right here. Singer with the basketball, going to skip it back around. Barreed with her hands up, a quick 2-0 lead. Looks like this is the defense Barreed would utilize on makes. Three's going to be blocked by Bar Reed. There's going to be a tie-up, and now they're going to get a foul. On Bar Reed, let's see who they call it on. They're going to get it on Seth Schwartz and Truber fighting for the loose ball. So Clay City going to get it underneath their own basket. Two nothing Bar Reed. Just a minute gone by. Clay City with the basketball. Dinker with it. Bar Reed back. 3-2, no, I think we're man-to-man -man again, Coach Ash. I think it's 3-2. They're just kind of trying to match them, match up with them out on the perimeter here. Dinker with the basketball over to Singer. Into the high post. Singer goes down the lane, kicks it back out. Dinker going to set for a three. He got it. 3-2, Clay City leads here early. Bari with their first possession of the game. That was a nice job by Clay City getting some penetration in the lane there. Uh, and then looked to kick out, and they had a, a wide-open look there for a three. Nice job by Dinker. Logan James with the basketball. Ball on the floor for a second. Picks it back up, hands it over to Whitmer. Seth Swartz and Troopers got it. Looking for Addison. Addison now on the short baseline with it. Addison going to work on everybody. His short five-footer is good. 4-3 Vikings lead by a point. Bar Eve out in some 1-2-2 two, two full court pressure here. Maybe three-quarters court. Clay City gets it across, and they're going to set for another three, and got it again. That three up and good by Evan Rogers. Clay City with an early two-point lead here at 6-4. to four. Yep, and That's very good for Clay City's confidence. That's important to knock down uh, some early three-point shots. Clay City did not get off to good starts either time last year against the Vikings. And Addison Wagler answers the bell. He's going to lay it in, and Addison going to be fouled by Easton Boo, so Addison going to go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. Nice job by the Vikings getting it down low. Addison Wagler has such an advantage inside, um, and Clay City's going to have a hard time unless they put two and three guys on him uh, of containing Addison. Addison's first free throw rolls in. 7-6, Vikings by a point. Coach Hughes calling out defensive instructions right here. And looks like they're back man-to-man -man here. Mbari back man-to-man -man with a 7-6 lead. This has been the staple for the Mbari team this year, the man-to-man -man defense. Clay City just trying to spread the Vikings out here for a little bit. Dinker's got the basketball. Back to Sessinger. Sessinger working on Chris Whitmer. He's going to spin. And they're going to call a foul. And I don't know who they're going to get it on. It's like Logan James. They're going to get it. Logan James on the reach. They're going to say took place on the floor. So Clay City going to get it underneath their own basket. 7-6 bar read. Three minutes gone here. Boo on the inbounds. Down the lane. Layup. No good. Rebounded by Addison. And here come the Vikings on the run. Logan's got it, left-hand dribble. Over to Whitmer, Duncan Roy in the corner, back to Chris. Logan's got it again, Seth Swartz and Trooper now. Looking for Addison down on the baseline. Whitmer's got it on the left side. Addison, going to go through everybody, lay it in again. And Addison being double teamed, and he is just here to play today, you can tell. 9-6 Vikings now by three. They just have no matchup for him, Mike, and if they're going to let him catch the ball, they're, they're just going to have a lot of trouble containing him. We've seen it all year. Teams that let him catch the ball with his back to the basket are not successful stopping Addison Wagner. Bari now by three. 4.25 left here in the opening quarter. Clay City with it again. And they're going to fire a long jumper, and it's good. That long two by Easton Boo makes it 9-8. Logan James with the basketball. Logan step back, 15-footer, rolls in and out. Addison rebound, layup, got it. 
11-8. So four minutes gone here, and just what we thought it would be, Coach Ash. This yes. game has gone up and down the floor. This has been a great pace for really both teams. Clay City has shot the ball well, opening this first quarter, which was very important for them to get off to a good start this year. And the Vikings have answered the bell. They've, uh, you know, they, Clay City's made a couple threes, a couple perimeter shots, and they've been very good defense or offensively as well. Dinker goes down the lane. His runner is good at 11-10 now. Logan James tries to turn the corner. Skips it out. Duncan Roy. Seth Swartz, trooper, fires a three. It's going to be short. Rebounded by Clay City. And here come the Eels on the run. And a wild layup spins in and good. 12-11. Clay City by a point. It's Bar Reed. I'm at one stop early, Coach Ash, and that's about it. Clay yeah. City by a point. Vikings with the set. Logan James with it. Seth Swartz and Truber. Logan's got it again. Vikings going to spread out right here. Addison's got it. Five-footer on the baseline. No good. Duncan Roy grabs the rebound. We're going to have a tie-up. It's going to be Barry basketball. Ethan Dungeon checking in for the first time. Seth Schwartz and Trooper are going to sit down. Today's game brought to you by Doc, Dr. Frank Bowling at WashingtonFatLoss.com, Malcolm Dubs State Farm Insurance, by First Federal Savings Bank in Washington and Lagodi, and by Neff's Restaurant on Highway 50. 12-11, Vikings. Duncan Roy on the inbounds, 5-footer, got it. 13-12, Vikings lead by one again. It's been a fun first quarter. Both teams... Uh Really playing well offensively, but neither team defensively has really settled in yet. So two and a half minutes left. Barry by a point. Dinker with it. And a cut by Play City. Layup good again. And that was Evan Rogers, 14-13. Vikings trail by a point now. Logan James with the basketball. Trying to get down on the baseline. Can't do it. Back out to Whitmer. Or two minutes exactly left here in the first quarter. Dunchin looking inside to Duncan Roy. Couldn't find him. And they're going to get a travel on Chris Whitmer. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Mike. But uh, we will play on. So Play City with the ball and a one-point lead. Under two minutes left in the first quarter. Today's game also brought to you by Craney's Body Shop on Bill Creek Road and by Purdue Farms of Washington. Play City going to set for yet another three. Got it again. Trevor Singer gives Play City a four-point lead with a minute and a half left here in the first quarter. This has been about as perfect of a start offensively that Play City could have hoped for. And now we're going to get an offensive foul on Addison Wagler. And Coach Brian Hughes is not happy. Well, it's just a—it's one of those situations. If you let, there, there, it, Addison was probably fouled two or three times before the offensive foul. So if you're going, you know, you got to clean it up before that offensive foul happens. And that's that's what Coach Hughes will uh, politely tell the official. So play City by four with the basketball. Clay City has not missed a shot since their first shot of the game. So 17-13, Dinker with the ball, guarded by Logan James. We're under a minute now. And now there's an offensive foul on Clay City. Ethan Dungeon stood in. Evan Rogers pushed, pushed off. And Barry's going to get it back with 55 seconds. Yeah, I think he would have got the blocking call on Dungeon if he didn't extend that arm. When he extended the arm, it just made it so obvious. Uh, pushing Dungeon down, that was an offensive foul. Nice job for the nice defensive stop there for the Vikings. There hadn't been many this first quarter. Sabar Eve with it, down by four. Dunchin over to Duncan Roy. Addison Wagler on the floor. Ball's going to be on the floor. Play City picks it up. Comes Play City on the run. And they're going to fire yet another three. This one's going to be short, but they pick up the offensive rebound. And layup is good. 19 13. Sabari going to get the last possession of the opening quarter here. 20 seconds left. 
Logan James with the basketball. We're down to 10 seconds. Logan with it. Splits through everybody. Layup. Bounces around. No good. But Logan with 4.3 seconds left. Going to go to the line to shoot two. Logan's going to have to continue that. Looking to drive the basketball. If Clay City's going to focus on Addison Wagler, Logan's got to be aggressive. He can get himself in the lane. There's not a lot of shot blockers that Clay City has. And Logan can be successful getting himself to the foul line. Logan's first free throw is good. Today's game brought to you by RTC Communications, by Grain Processing Corporation, GPC, by Edley Mortuary, and by Healthy Shapes Meta Spa in Washington. The Vikings need to be very aware here with 4.3 seconds of finding their men and not allowing any, uh, a good look here. Logan's second free throw is good. Here comes Clay City, going to fire one from half court at the buzzer, and it's no good. At the end of one quarter on the JJ's Concrete scoreboard, Barry trails Clay City 19-15. Back to Seymour High School after this one-minute timeout. Got it. Okay. Bari trails Clay City 19-15 to begin the second quarter. Today's game also brought to you by McAllister Machinery, your Caterpillar dealer, and by Grant Swartz, a trooper attorney at law in Washington. The Clay City's basketball to begin the quarter. Bari with their original five starters on the floor. 19-15. Clay City with it. Looks like Bari man-to-man -man right here on defense. Dinker with it for Clay City. Over to Trevor Singer. Singer working on Duncan Roy. Clay City going to reset here. Dinker's got it again. Clay City still with the basketball. Barry trying to tighten up the defense here a little bit. Clay City still working, and there is... A cutting and a wide open Evan Rogers and Rogers flat out just missed a layup. Just a little flex cut, Coach Ash, and he missed it. Yeah, it was a nice, uh, nice offensive little screen there. The Vikings uh, didn't communicate. Two guys went to one, and he was wide open and just missed the layup. Addison with it now, down on the short corner. Addison back out to Whitmer. Duncan Roy going to set for a three. It's going to be long, but Whitmer grabs the offensive rebound, and Barry going to reset. Whitmer down on the baseline, couldn't find anything. Kicks it back out to Logan. Duncan Roy's got it down on the baseline. Duncan shot off the glass is good. 19-17. Barry just cut it for two. Well, the Vikings just have such an advantage inside. Duncan and Addison, we just have to keep keep trying to get them the ball in good positions where they can score. Clay City with it again. Six and a half minutes left here. Second quarter. Clay City just going to reset the offense here. Trevor Singer with it. Guarded by Duncan Roy. Dinker's got it again. Brigham Boo, the freshman, going to fire a three. Got it. 22-17. Clay City now by five. Clay, Clay City's hot shooting is just continues. Whitmer's got it on the right side for the Vikings. Duncan Roy, top of the key. Logan James over on the left side. Seth Swartz and Trooper going to fire a three. It's going to be short. Rebounded by Clay City. So Clay City with the basketball and a five-point lead. Ball is going to be on the floor. Clay City picks it back up, however, and the Eels going to reset the offense. And another shot off the glass is good by Trevor Singer and Clay City now with a seven-point lead. That's their largest lead of the game. They are just looking to drive the basketball, and they are just doing a nice job. Logan James pull up 15-footer, no good. Rebounded by Clay City. Here come the Eels. Approaching five minutes left here in the second quarter. Clay City with a seven-point lead. Clay City still with it. Just some dribble handoffs out high. Dinker with it over in the corner to Rogers. Rogers going down the lane. Dinker's going to travel with the basketball. 
So Barheve's going to get it back. 24-17, 4.49 left here in the second quarter. Logan James with it. Logan over to Whitmer on the left side. Connor Swartz and Trooper in. Down to Addison. Addison, layup, no good. Here comes Clay City with it. Addison had a good look at it, just couldn't get it to go. Dinker guarded by Logan James. And Clay City's hot shooting has staked them to this seven-point lead. Four minutes, 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. Boo with the basketball again. He's a freshman. Dinker's got it way out high, guarded by Logan. Clay City going to get it and reset. Clay City showing nice patience offensively. When they, when they don't have anything right away, they pull it out. They reset and they look to drive again. So we're under four minutes here, second quarter. Clay City by seven. Clay City still with it. Ball on the floor for a second. Clay City picks it back up. Down the lane. Runner. Got it. 26-17. Barry having a very hard time guarding Clay City. Coach Brian Hughes wants a timeout. 3.31 left. Second quarter, 26-17, Clay City by nine. Back to Seymour after this one-minute timeout. Wow. Can't guard him. No, we can't. Those are tough shots. Some of them. They're still getting in the lane, though. Yeah. Huh. Seymour. Today's game also brought to you by NASCO in Washington. By First Financial Bank. People come first at first. By Washington Times Herald newspaper and WashingtonTimesHerald.com and by Indianapolis Power and Light in Petersburg and their generating station. 26-17 Clay City by 9. Barry with the basketball now. Seth Swartz and Truber. Addison Wagler with it. Now top of the key. Whitmer's got it again. Whitmer trying to cross over. His runner is good. 26-19. Barry cuts it to seven. See if the Vikings change anything right here. That was a big basket by Chris Whitmer there. Vikings were down nine. That was a big possession early on in this game to just get something positive. Three minutes left, second quarter. Barry's still man-to-man -man right here. Dinker with the basketball for Clay City. And there goes Rogers on his way to the bucket. Shots no good. Grabs his own rebound. This is the second one. And Addison grabs a rebound. And here come the Vikings. Logan James with it. Duncan's got it in the corner. Duncan Roy over to Addison. Addison out to Duncan. Hands it back to Seth. Chris Whitmer's got it now. Down to Duncan Roy. Duncan, little five-footer, rolls in. 26-21. Sabari's answered with... Four points in a row to cut it to five. Here comes Clay City with the basketball. Approaching two minutes left here in the half. Boo with it. Put on the line. Shot no good. Rebounded by Seth. Seth gets it ahead to Whitmer. Here comes Bar Reed with the basketball. Looking to get a little bit closer. Logan James now has it. Logan on the baseline. Step back. 15-footer. No good. Ball's going to be tapped around. Clay City grabs it. Good look by Logan James there. Just didn't knock it down. So Clay City, five-point lead the ball. Minute and a half left, second quarter. In the corner, Dinker had a three for a second. Didn't take it. 
a good switch by Chris Whitmer, he would have had a wide open three. Dinker with the basketball again. And Clay City almost throws it out of bounds. And down the lane, wild shot put up, no good. Seth Swer or, uh, Chris Whitmer grabs the rebound. Now they're going to be fouled by Brigham Boo. He's with a minute seven left. Barry's going to get it back, down by five. Nice little 4-0 run here. The Vikings have strung a few stops together. Minute seven to go. I think you'll see uh, Coach Hughes go ahead and play this out. I don't think you'll see him pull it out for one, being down five. Vikings do have possession coming out in the third quarter. Let's see if the Vikings can't get a basket here. Bar Eve with some dribble handoff. Seth Swartz and Truber. Over to Chris Whitmer. Whitmer's layup, no good. Ball's going to be fought for on the floor. Going to be a tie-up. And now they're going to get... Play City, they're going to say, granted a timeout. So with 48 seconds left, 30-second timeout, we'll take one, two. 26-21, Play City by five, 48 seconds left, first half. Back to Seymour in 30 seconds. <sighs> Those loose balls you got to get. Seymour, 48 seconds left here in the opening half. Barry trails by 5, 26-21. Clay City has the basketball. And let's see if Clay City tries to get the last shot of the half. And they don't look to be in any hurry right now. Yeah, I think they are. And Boo with the basketball. That's Brigham Boo. He's a freshman. We're under 30 seconds. Still got it. We're at 20. Now under 15, here goes Clay City. And Boo going to set for a three. Got it. Seth Swartz and Trooper fires one at the buzzer, no good. A disastrous last defensive possession, and Clay City leads by eight at halftime, 29-21. Back to Seymour High School after this three-minute timeout. What are we doing? 29-21. Halftime statistics. Coach Aaron Ash. You know, we'll start with Clay City. They were led in scoring by Trevor Singer. He had one three-point field goal, two two-point field goals for seven first-half points for Trevor Singer. Brigham Boo, the freshman, had two three-point field goals, including the one big three-pointer here at the end of the first half uh, to give Clay City an eight-point first-half first lead. He had six points. Again, two three-pointers for Brigham Boo. Noah Dinker had one three-point field goal, one two-point field goal for five points. Evan Rogers had one three-point field goal, one two-point field goal for five points also. Easton Boo had two two-point field goals for four points. And Logan Sessinger had one two-point field goal for two points. So again, Singer with seven. Brigham Boo, the freshman, with six. Dinker with five. Rogers with five. Easton Boo with four. And Logan Sessinger with two. Very, very balanced scoring for Clay City. Um... All five starters have scored, and their, their one sub that they usually put in has also hit two big threes uh, for 29 first-half points for Clay City. For the Barry Vikings, they were led by senior center Addison Wagler. He had four two-point field goals and one free throw for nine points. Duncan Roy had three two-point field goals for six. Chris Whitmer, two two-point field goals for four points. And Logan James, two free throws for two points. So again, the Barry Vikings with 21 first-half points. Addison Wagner with nine, Duncan with six, Chris with four, and Logan James with two. Also might point out Clay City has made five three-point field goals. Barif has made uh, zero three-point field goals. Uh, Barif has been to the line three times. Uh, Clay City has not been to the free throw line yet. So 
Uh, 29-21, first half lead for Clay City. And, uh, Mike, we've got to find some way to kind of slow this Eel offense down. They've, um, they've just been very efficient, um, and they've just looked like they've been in control every time down the floor when they're on offense, and the Vikings just kind of on their heels defensively. Halftime today brought to you by Brock Smith, Blake, and Wagler Funeral Home in Montgomery and also by the First National Bank of Odin with locations in Odin and Montgomery. You've been in these locker rooms before. What's Coach Hughes talking about right now? Well, it's not the first time the Vikings have been down this year. Uh, but, you know, coming out here in this second half, the Vikings are down eight points. Clay City played very, very well this first half. Uh, you know, if they continue to play that well, the Vikings are going to have an awfully hard time getting back into this game. Uh, Clay City has shot the ball so well this first half. You know, you just have you can't lose sight of who you are in the team that's won, um, you know, 25 ball games this year. You just can't lose sight of that. So defensively, they just got to tighten it up. You might see Coach Hughes, you know, mix defenses up a little bit. It's hard with a team that shoots the ball so well to to, to play a lot of zone. If you, usually against the zone, you're trying to take away a post player. Uh, but you might see Coach mix up some different defense here just to kind of throw them off. But ultimately, it doesn't matter what defense you play, it comes down to the five guys on the floor communicating, talking, and getting in a stance, and keeping the ball from penetrating the lane and having a hand up on shooters. And Barry have just been kind of on their heels defensively here this first half. All right, we're going to take another timeout, and when we come back... High school at halftime. Clay City leads Bar Eve 29-21. It will be Bar Eve's basketball to begin the second half. What are we going to see on offense right out of the gate? Well, I think you're going to see, you know, try to get a post, a post touch with either Addison or Duncan. I mean, that's where the Vikings have had success here in this first half. And you might see Clay City throw a little wrinkle defensively. Um, you know, Addison and Duncan had kind of scored at will there that first half. Uh, but you've got to keep going there, but but the other guys, you know, those, the Logan Jameses, the Seth Swartz and Troopers, you know, the Chris Whitmers, those guys are going to have to be the ones, you know, to, to come up with some big shots and some big baskets. Uh, so I think you'll see the Vikings try to work from inside, inside back out here. So Mari basketball. Logan James has it. Let's see what Mari tries to do. Seth Swartz and Trooper out. Duncan Roy, top of the key. Logan James down to Addison, right out of, out of the gate. Addison turns on everybody. Five-footer rolls in. 29-23. Vikings cut it to six. Great start for the Mari Vikings there. Getting the ball to their number one player, their best offensive player. And just letting him go to work. So Clay City with it. Mari still man-to-man -man right here. Bari man to man. Easton Boo with it, working on Addison. Going to back it back out. Down the lane, his shot rolls in and good. 39, 31, 23. Clay City by eight again. And Michael, in that possession, Clay City, I mean, they didn't have guys around the three point line. They were, they didn't have guys in the three point line. They were just going to isolate Addison Wagler. And Easton Boo and just let him drive on Addison. That's what they're and it worked out well that time. Just like that, Barry throws it out of bounds to Clay City with an eight point lead in the ball. Gonna to try to extend it even further. And they're looking they're gonna they're gonna really isolate Addison. They're gonna make him come out and guard. And when you got an eight point lead, you can afford to do that. So Boo with it. Again, the Vikings have to be careful about helping too much because then you're leaving a shooter wide open. And Clay City has knocked down five threes that first half. Six and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. 31-23. Boo still got it. 
Layup, got it. 33 23. Whitmer with it, he's going to be fouled. Mbari going to get it back on their own sideline. Mbari just having a tough time guarding Clay City right now. Clay City, you know, the Vikings, Clay City has a tough time guarding the Vikings down low. But Addison, five footer in the lane, rolls in. 33-25. Vikings are going to 1-3-1 here, Mike, to try to speed this tempo up a little bit. And they're going to give up open shots out of this, but that's that's all right. You've got to get this tempo sped up. So 1-3-1 here by Bar-Eve against Clay City. And there's your first wide open three. Noah Dinker, no good, rebounded by Whitmer. So here comes Bar-Eve, trailing by eight with it. Logan James is going to be... Uh, Duncan Roy going to be fouled. Logan was looking for him. Duncan fouled by Trevor Singer. Vikings are doing a nice job posting hard inside. So on the inbounds, Mari throws it all the way into the backcourt. Seth Swartz and Trooper with it. Five and a half minutes left. They sit in a 2-3 zone here. Lob play, Duncan Roy, layup, got it. 33-27. Vance Edmondson knew it was coming, was yep. yelling, and it didn't, didn't matter. Yeah, they knew it was coming. So the Vikings with the last four to cut it to six. Still in this 1-3-1 one, one pressure. Trying to speed Clay City up here just a little bit. And that's going to be an over and back. Oh, They're not going to call it. They're going to say there was a deflection. Oh, Long two put up by Clay City. Bounces. No good. Logan James with the rebound. Here comes Barry trailing by six. Duncan Roy over to Whitmer. Logan. Seth Swartz, the trooper. Down to Addison. Addison going to be tied up. They're going to call a jump ball. Coach Brian Hughes unhappy. Two and a foul. Mike has got to stay on it defensively here. 33-27. Vikings trail by six, four and a half minutes left, third quarter. Mari still 1-3-1 one, one right here. Dinker's got it. Clay City got themselves caught in the corner. There they're going to find a wide open three. It's going to be no good. Rebounded by Addison, and here comes Logan James with it. Logan with the basketball, 15-footer. Yes, 33-29. Coach Vance Edmondson wants a full timeout. We'll take one, too. Four minutes left, third quarter. Barry trails by four, 33-29. Back to Seymour after this one-minute timeout. Okay. Here we come. There we go. School. Bar Reeve has cut the Play City lead down to four, 33-29. Four minutes exactly left here in the third quarter. And Bar Reeve going to stay 1-3-1 one, one right here, Coach Ash. Yeah, it's worked the last three or four possessions, and it's just speeding the tempo up, and that's what and that's what Bar Reeve's going to want this game at just a little bit quicker pace here. Still 1-3-1, one, one. ball's in the corner, Play City with it. They're going to spin out. Ball's going to be tapped for just a second. And almost an over and back <laughs> again. Hey. Play City is dancing with that half-court line. Duncan Roy at the top of that causing all sorts of trouble here. Uh, again, almost. <laughs> Play City still with it. Dinker's got it. Over to Sessinger. Dinker's got it back. Here in a second, the Vikings are going to cheat a passing lane, i got a feeling. Sessinger goes down the lane, kicks it back out. Dinker had a three, didn't take it.
Clay City still working with it. And Wild shot off the glass, no good. But Clay City and Trevor Singer are gonna rebound their own miss and lay it in, 35-29. Yeah, nice job by Trevor Singer, missed it. Addison Wagler fell down uh, trying to draw a charge and Vikings did not have anybody in there to rebound the ball and Singer with a nice putback. Uh, Seth Swartz and Trooper, Duncan Roy, Logan James, top of the key. Seth's got it on the right side. Duncan's got it. Logan going to set for a three. Yeah! 35-32. Barry cuts it to three. Two minutes, 15 seconds left, third quarter. That's Logan James' second basket of this third quarter here. That's very important for him to get going. Bari still 1-3-1 right here. Play City with it. Bari just kind of waiting for a spot to pressure. And there's an over and back. There's the turnover you needed. Play City going to throw one into the back. Bari going to get it down three. Minute 52, third quarter with the ball. And this 1-3-1 has just changed the complexion of the game. Play City just does not look comfortable. Uh, offensively right now. And we saw the same thing in the girls' semi-state, Mike. That 1-3-1 one, one just kind of changed the game. Madison Wagler going to be held by Logan Sessinger. Samari going to get it underneath their own bucket. Ethan Dungeon checking in for Duncan Roy. On the inbounds. Dungeon, a wide open 15 footer. Yep, 35 34. Bar E2 within one. Chris Whitmer now going to move to the top of that 1 3 1. Dinker's got it out high. Bar E does not committed a foul this half, so they can get very, very handsy with the basketball. Dinker's got it again. Over to Sessinger. Long skip pass. Dinker going to fire a three. Short. Play City grabs a rebound. And they're going to be fouled. Brigham Boo right there to grab it. And he's going to be fouled. Go to the free throw line and shoot two. And when you do that, when you play a 1-3-1, one, one, Mike, you're going to give up some of those offensive rebounding opportunities. And, and you know, you've just got – it's still a positive defensive, uh, you know, the last seven or eight possessions here. It's been very good for the Vikings. So it's – you're going to give up an offensive rebound whenever you're looking to trap and, and really get up and down here. So that's that's going to happen. Boo knocks the first free throw in. He's got one more. 36-34. The second one, also good. 37-34. So Clay City back by three. Minute five seconds left here, third quarter. So let's see if Barry tries to get the last possession of the quarter here. They will have the ball coming out in the fourth. Logan James has it. He's holding it on his hip. 45 seconds left. Approaching 30 seconds. Chris Whitmer has it now. Getting close to 20. Whitmer hands it back to Logan. We're closing in on 15. So, Mari, let's see what they try to get done right here. We are now at 10. Logan with it. Going to drive it. Spin move. Get down the lane, and Logan's going to be fouled. Go to the free throw line and shoot two with 3.7. Oh. And they're going to get a technical foul on Addison Wagler. I don't know what exactly happened right there. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I saw, I saw the kid fell down pretty hard, like it was almost it was almost a flop. <sighs> I didn't see what happened, so I, I can't really. I was looking out towards the, the center line, so I'm not really sure. They've been kind of going at it back and forth the whole game.
So let's see what the chain of events is right here. Looks like Logan James will shoot his free throws first. Logan's first free throw is good. Temporarily cuts the lead to two. Logan with one more. Got the second. So now it's cut to one. Play City will now shoot two free throws. So at the free throw line is Evan Rogers. His first free throw rolls in, 38-36. He's got one more. This second one rolls off. So now Play City will get it at half court with 3.7 seconds left. It's a big 3.7 seconds here. Mario's got the possession coming out. They've got to be aware here and get get a stop here with this three seconds. Make Play City take a shot out from the perimeter. Don't lose sight. There you go. Get so here comes Play court. City. And they're going to slide through, fire three, and it's going to be no good. So Bari headed to the fourth quarter, trailing by two. Play City 38, Bari 36. Back to Seymour High School after this one-minute timeout. Start of the fourth quarter. Play City leads by two. Bar Eve will have the ball to start fourth quarter action. Chris Whitmer with it. Over to Duncan. Ethan Dunchin now with it. Logan James sets for a three. Yeah! 39-38. Bar Eve with their first there lead we go, Mike. since early in the first quarter. Bari back in now 1-3-1 defense. Play City with it on the oh. sideline. Duncan Roy taps it out of bounds. So Bari now by a point. 7.27 left. And here comes Clay City. Bari still 1-3-1. Dinker with it. Ooh. Here goes Play City down the lane. Dinker with it now. They're going to kick it back out. Three put up again. Short. Rebounded Duncan Roy. Gets it back to Logan James. And here comes Barry with their first lead almost of the day in the ball. Let's we'll see what the Vikings try to do here. We're under seven minutes. Logan's got it. Logan, hesitation move. Ethan Dungeon going to be tapped out of bounds. Mario going to get it back on their own, underneath their own bucket. Ethan was kind of caught in the middle there where he should be. When Logan penetrated the baseline, it would be nice if he was out on the three-point line. Um, he probably would have had an open shot there, but um, Vikings will get possession back. Ah. And Clay City comes up with a steal. And now, oh, oh. looks like Mario had stolen it back. But they're not going to give the Vikings the call. So Clay City will have the ball. 6.42 left. Mari, 39-38. The official just kind of assumed there had been contact there. Chris is pretty good with his hands. All right there's a good trapping spot. Yep. And ball's going to be on the floor. Logan James picks it up. 
Oh, the gold travel man. over the face. God bless America. So Play City going to get it back. Mari yet to catch a break here today. It's pretty simple. He got bumped. If you're going to call a travel, you got to call a foul. Clay City with it. Dinker's got it over in the corner. Clay City working down the lane. Spin move on Addison. Bank shot. Got it. 40-39. Clay City back by a point. Like he's had a couple chances there defensively. Duncan Roy's got it. Layup. No good. But Duncan going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. 6 one left. Duncan Roy going to the free throw line. 40 to 39, Clay City. And Duncan's first free throw rolls off. No good. Duncan has one more. Today's game also brought to you by Chuckles Convenience Stores, by the Washington Chrysler Center, by the Prescription Shop, and by Build Option 4. Dunk with one more. Second one is up. This one rolls in. So we're now tied at 40. Six minutes to go. Bari still 1-3-1 here. Clay City really dancing around with it. Going to dribble it back out. Bari going to get back into their defense here. Clay City, and they're going to step out of bounds. Once again, Trevor Singer stepped on the sideline. So five minutes, 34 seconds, Barry's going to get it back. I can see they get a, get a good offensive possession here. A few times here, uh, the last couple times, they got it into Duncan Roy, got two free throws last time. Um, get, a, get a good shot here. Logan James with the basketball. We're tied at 40, five and a half. Whitmer's got it on the right side. Chris Whitmer. Addison's got it on the block. Addison goes through everybody, and he's going to be fouled. Go to the free throw line and shoot two. There's three guys on him there, Mike. He is just a load inside. So with 5.18 left, Addison. Going to shoot two free throws, try to get Bar the lead back. Addison's first free throw, got it, 41-40. Today's game also brought to you by KW Fence of Candleburg, by JJ's Concrete, by Trailer Fertilizer Service in Montgomery, and by Landmark Survey. Addison with one more, got the second one. Bari by two, 42-40. And Bari still going to stay in this 1-3-1. High low set, Clay City. Down with it. Addison Wackler going to block the shot ball on the floor, on the floor. Going to be a tie-up. And possession arrow going to give it back to Clay City, I believe. Dang it. Man. Again, those loose balls. We've had a couple of them, Mike, where we just cannot squeeze them. So 5.02 left. Clay City with the ball underneath their own bucket. 42-40 bar E. Clay City. Bari gets back into their 1-3-1. See if they can force another turnover here. Three going to be fired by Clay City. No good. Seth Swartz, a trooper, grabs it momentarily. Duncan Roy with it now. And here comes Bari. Logan James with a two-point lead in the ball. Kicks it over. Swartz, a trooper, going to fire a three. Going to be long. Ball's going to be on the floor for a second. Here comes Clay City with it. Oh. And Clay City picks it back up. So the Eels with the basketball. Bar E back 1-3-1 one, one right here. And shot put up and no good. Clay City grabs their own rebound, however. And they're going to get a foul on Bar E. So Clay City will get it on their sideline. That's 14 fouls on Bar E. Chris Whitmer's second foul. Clay City has six. Amari will be in the bonus the rest of the day. Approaching four minutes left here. 
Oh, Hinker with it, ball on the floor. Duncan Roy with it. Here comes Duncan. Layup, no good. Logan James with it. Saves it to Addison. Addison, back to Logan. Logan in the corner for three. Yeah! Bowery by five! Boom! 45-40. And Blaze City. Oh. Shots up, no good. But they're going to give them two free throws. Kind of bailing him out there, but Bar has got to do a little bit better job of standing and holding their ground. You know, Chris Whitmer had a chance on that spin to take a charge. He just got to kind of stand there and take it. 3.42 left. Sessinger at the line to shoot two. The first free throw is good, 45-41. He's got one more. Logan James with 15 points for the Vikings. Rolls in the second one, and it's now 45-42, Barry by three. A little pressure right here by Play City. Logan James with it, bounces it over. Whitmer going to be fouled. And Whitmer going to go to the free throw line and shoot the bonus. Three thirty-one left. Forty-five, forty-two Vikings. That's the seventh foul on Clay City. Mari will be in a bonus for this. First one is up. No good. Oh, golly! We're going to get a foul on Addison Wagler on the rebound. The kid just keeps falling down. I mean... The kid needs an Academy Award. That's just six fouls. They're not in the bonus. It's Addison Wagler's third foul. So three and a half minutes left. 45-42. Play City with the basketball. Barry's still 1-3-1 here. Coach Hughes saying get a rebound. Dinker with it. Barry's still in the 1-3-1. They are going to fire a three. Got it. We're tied to the tie. So just like that, Clay City has tied the game. Just over three minutes left. Duncan Roy back out to Whitmer. Logan James now with it. We're tied at 45. Logan over to Duncan. Back to Logan. Logan stop and pop, 15-footer. Yep, 47-45. Vikings by two again. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. Some big defensive possessions coming up here for both teams. Dinker with it. And I tell you what, Clay City with the basketball. Let's see if Barry can get one more turnover right here. Evan Rogers, another big three. Coach Brian Hughes wants a timeout. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a full. We'll go ahead and take one, two. 213 left. Play City 48, Barry 47. Back to Seymour after this one-minute timeout. We got the ball, we got the arrow. I liked it when we were up five. Me too.
back at Seymour. Barty with the basketball, trailing by one, 48-47. Logan James with it. Whitmer's got it. Back to Logan. Logan step back, 15-footer, got another one. Wow. 49-48, ball read by a point again. That's a tough shot, Mike, with two minutes to go in a semi-state championship. A 17-foot step back jumper. Minute 45 left, 49-48. Play City fires another three. This one's going to be short. And there's another offensive rebound and a foul. And Logan Boo's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul for Eva going to the free throw line. Two shots. <sighs> it's those weak side rebounds and the shot goes up. Right. That foul probably saved the layup, though I will say that. So Boo at the free throw line, shooting two, his first one. Rolls in. The tie to 49. Brigham Boo with one more. Second free throw, got this one. 50-49, Clay City by a point. Approaching a minute and a half, Logan James with the basketball. Whitmer's got it on the right side. Duncan Roy with it out high. Seth Swartz and Truber. Duncan's got it again. Logan, top of the key. Logan down the lane, going to be fouled. And Logan's going to go back to the line and shoot two. So minute 21 left. Logan's in the Back at the line, Barry down by a point, 50 to 49. And Logan's first free throw, got it. We're tied at 50. Logan with one more, trying to get Barry the lead back. The second one does. 51-50, Barry. Play City with it again. It's 21 for Logan James, and you see Coach Hughes now go man-to-man -man here. I like this move. The Vikings have trouble rebounding the basketball. See if they can get a stop going man here. Everybody's got to be in help. We're approaching a minute. Dinker with it. Play City trying to turn the corner. The youngest boo goes to the lane. His layup. Got it. 52-51. And we are at 50 seconds left in the game. Coach Hughes says, let's play on. Logan James with the basketball. Goes down. He's going to be fouled. Logan's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two again with 43 seconds left. Both teams going back and forth. What a battle today. The ninth foul on Clay City, so Logan will have two free throws. Logan at the line, his first one is up, ties it at 52. 43.2 seconds left. Dungeon checks in for Addison Wagler, a little offense for defense substitution. Logan's second free throw, Barry leads again, 53-52. So here comes Clay City with the basketball. Barry man-to-man -man right here. Little dribble handoff. Dinker's got it. Noah Dinker approaching 30 seconds. Play City still with it. Oh, and they're going to get a foul, a reaching foul on Logan James. So Trevor Singer going to go to the line to shoot the bonus with 23.2 seconds left. Addison Wagler checks back in, Lo or, uh, Dungeon sits down, 23 seconds left. So, Trevor Singer at the line, shooting the bonus. His first free throw, got it, the tied at 53, 23.2 seconds left. Coach Vance Edmondson wants a 30-second timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it right here. Coach Ash, tell us what to do. Wow. Well, 
You know, if he misses, you'll probably see Bari take the last shot. If they can secure a rebound, you're probably going to see one shot where you can either win it or lose it, or you can either win it or you're going to overtime. If he makes, and I think you'll see Bari kind of get going fairly quickly there to make sure they get an opportunity to take the lead. And if the Vikings would miss, down one, they could foul quickly and then still give themselves an opportunity to, uh, with another possession here. But a lot will depend on this free throw. And quite tell you what, Mike, both teams, I mean, it need, this is good basketball. Both teams are making free throws, they're making shots. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough <laughs> to lose for either one of these teams. But it's going to be a fun 23 seconds here. So Singer at the free throw line, getting ready to shoot the bonus one more time. Trevor Singer trying to give Clay City the lead back. Singer's second free throw is up. Got this one, 54-53. So here comes Barry with it. Logan James. And Logan going to be fouled. So with 17 seconds left, Logan going to go back to the line to shoot two. That is not what Coach Edmondson wanted there. Just a little over, being a little bit over aggressive in that situation by Clay City. So 17.8 left. Logan at the free throw line. Logan's first free throw ties it again. We're tied at 54. Dungeon checks back in. Addison Wagler sits down. 17.8 left. Logan's second free throw. In the air. Got it. 55-54. Vikings by one. We're at 15 seconds. Here comes Clay City with the basketball. And they're going to come around and score and drive it. Now Luke are going to be on the night. Clay City grabs the rebound. No good. Going to be a tie-up. And yeah, Logan James going to come out with it. With 3.1 seconds left. Logan James is going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Coach Vance Edmondson wants a full timeout. We're going to go ahead and keep it right here. 3.1 seconds left. Barry 55. Clay City 54. Logan James at the free throw line to shoot two. In case of a tie-up, Barry will be in possession of the basketball. Today's game also brought to you by the Montgomery Raritan Club, by Southern Indiana Spray Foam, by Trailer Chiropractic, by Williams Brothers Pharmacy, and by Boyd Grain Buying and Trucking. Lots of possibilities here, Coach Ash. 3.1 seconds left. There, there are a lot of possibilities, and it's, you know, Murray's going to have the lead one way or the other. One defensive stop with three seconds to go. Logan James' first priority is to step up and make two free throws. But three seconds is a long time. You, know, you can get yourself a fairly decent look. Get your inbound pass. You know, assuming Logan makes it, you get a good inbound pass, and you got three or four dribbles before that for that three seconds. So they, Clay City can still get a very decent look. So Logan at the free throw line. 3.1. Logan's first free throw rolls out. Do you miss this one, Coach Ash? It's certainly a possibility. So 3.1, Logan with one more. Second one is good. So here comes Clay City. Bar Reeve going to play some full court defense. And Clay City just going to have to fire one. Oh, yeah! There. No good! And the Vikings! Woo! Back 
to Baker's Life Fieldhouse. Oh my goodness. And the Vikings survived today. Wow. Bar Reeve, 56. Play City, 54. Coach Ash, I'll let you do some scoring. I'm headed to the floor. All right, buddy. Yeah, unbelievable for the Bari Vikings. Mike, of course, is going to head to the floor and get some player reactions. Wow, we're going to go over some scoring here. And I apologize. I did not have it totaled up yet. But we're going to start with Clay City. What a performance by the Clay City Eels. Just a fantastic performance. That is a heartbreaking, heartbreaking loss. Wow, they had so many seniors on this team. This is a tough way to go. And Barry with eight seniors as well. Both of these teams just played their hearts out. Uh, we'll start with Clay City. Trevor Singer. He had one three-point field goal. Hey, I think we got Mike McCorsey down there. Hey, he's got the winning game. We are joined now on the post-game show by Brian Hughes. Vikings win it 56-54. That just happened. You see the group of kids. I told them at halftime, we are going to win this game. We're going to tough it out. And they did it. I tell you what. Uh, my goodness, Mike. This is a special group. <laughs> How many? I mean, you want to talk about the last three minutes. That was a heavyweight fight. Both teams just made play after play. Yeah, I tell you, that's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one to lose. And, my heart goes out to those seniors over there because I know how it would feel, but boy, it, it, our group's been good all year, and we deserve to be playing again. Um, I don't know. Here comes your family. I'm going to let you hug your family. <laughs> that was Coach Brian Hughes. Vikings win it 56-54 today. And Coach Ash, I'll let you keep running through the stats. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll go. With Clay City, Trevor Singer led him in scoring with 13 points. Brigham Boo had 12. The freshman, a great performance. Evan Rogers with 11. Easton Boo with 8. Noah Dinker with 5. Logan Sessinger with 4. Again, Trevor Singer, the senior, 13 points. Brigham Boo, the freshman, 12. Evan Rogers, 11. Easton Boo, 8. Down here on the... And Mike is back. Sorry, Coach Ash. Are you good? We're good, Mike. Go ahead. All right, down here on the floor, Addison Wagler, Vikings win at 56-54. Uh, Addison, how did that just happen? I don't know. It's crazy. It's a great day to be a Viking. Um, I know it was one of those days, not only did you get held, but they flopped all over the place, too, and they finally bought one there at the end of the third quarter. When that happened, what were you thinking? Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't do anything. I didn't hit him or nothing. I didn't. I know coach would understand, but I just kept playing, and I knew they was going down anyway. You know, it seemed like you carried us early, and Logan got going late. It seemed like every time he touched it, he was just going to go score. And if he wasn't going to score, you were going to score. And I know that's a, that's a good feeling for you to have. Yeah, Logan's playing amazing fourth quarter, amazing game overall, and I can't be more proud to have him on my team. Addison, you're my boy. Congratulations. Thanks, Mike. All right, that's up. Bar Reed, superstar Addison Wagner, Bar Reed's all time leading scorer. Bar Reed, 56 54 here today. They knock off Clay City. They knock off Clay City in the semi state championship game. Got Dean Scott down here on the floor, Vikings uh, assistant head coach. That just happened. Yes, it did. Logan James took his son's shoulders. I'll tell you what. I think he said he had the last 16 points of the game. What are they doing? Clay City shot the ball extremely well. They played very well. We were fortunate we hit a free throws, and it was a great game. Uh, like I said, that last three minutes, I don't think I've seen a back and forth like that in a long time. Neither team could stop the other, and uh, it just seemed like we finally, finally got the big stop at the end. Yes, we got that one rebound. It was a battle back and forth. Three changes. I don't know how many changes they had. But they had free throws. We had free throws. And Coach, congratulations. I know you got a million people you want to talk to. We'll catch you later. Thank you, man. All right. That's Scott. 
technicals a game so you know it heck of a job holding his composure um just a great game for him too great game so coach yoder back-to-back trips to banker's life how do you feel about this guy oh I, I feel good i feel every time you go up there you know with that experience you just help your chances so these guys are ready they're focused i i like what i see right now all right well coach yoder Thanks for uh, stopping in, and we'll catch you next time. All right, thank you. All right, that's Barry. JV coach, Eric Yoder. How you doing, Still down here on the floor. Barry principal, Jeff Doyle. Yep, that just happened. Holy cow, just to think we did this in girls three weeks ago. Come back and do it today. I can't say enough the heart of these guys. And, you know, it's, they just refuse to lose. And... Uh, Whatever by Clay City today, we took everything they had, and hats off to them. But wow, what can you say about these guys? Well, you know, it awesome, awesome. Logan James, what, what, what can you say? I mean, he took the game over. I mean, he was feeling it. He knew what he needed to do. Whether draw, drawing fouls, driving, pulling up, and shooting that ten footer, hit a couple big threes to start third quarter, get us back in the game. So heck of a game by Logan James. There's not even. I don't know if there's a better guard in 1A. So Barley wins at 56, 54. I'm gonna go try to grab Logan here in just a second. He's surrounded by Logan James, baby! That was uh, Robinette's Mennonite Church, Associate Pastor Josh Schwartz at And uh, And we've got the star of the day here, Aaron Ash. Logan James, the game's last 16 points. Are your shoulders hurting? Are they tired from putting the team on your back? No, I think uh, stronger than I've ever been right now. Uh, at what point uh, do you just decide, hey, I, nobody else, you know, I, I gotta go get, I, got, I just have to go get buckets. When, when did you make that decision? Uh, in the third quarter, I said, we're not gonna stop here. Uh, we gotta, I'm gonna do whatever I can, get the team on our back, and we're gonna win. Uh, you know, what were your thoughts? I mean, you kept, you kept running to the free throw line. Uh, you know, trip after trip after trip, and every free throw meant something. And and you knocked all of them down but one. I mean, what are you thinking when you just keep stepping up there, making free throw after free throw after free throw? That's Clutch City. Yeah, I mean, uh, free throws by then, it's like layups. Once you get on a row, thinking back freshman year, regional, I'm not going to miss these, so finish it. Okay. Logan, congratulations. We'll catch you all week long. Thank you. All right. That's Logan James. Vikings win it today, 56-54. We're going to go ahead and take another timeout. We'll take a three-minute timeout, and when we come back, more of the post-game show. Once again, Ball Reed wins it 56-54. Back to Seymour right after this.
back at Seymour High School in a game for the ages today. Bar Eve overcomes a 10-point second-half deficit. They knock off Clay City 56-54. And for the second consecutive year, Bar Eve advances to Banker's Life Fieldhouse to play in the 1A state championship game. Bar Eve knocks off Clay City 56-54. Coach Aaron Ash got through all of the Clay City scoring today. Time for Bar Eve scoring right now. Bar Eve placed five players into the scoring column today. Ethan Dunchin. Dunchin knocked down a two-point shot in the third quarter. Ethan finished with two points. Dunchin was followed by Chris Whitmer. Whitmer with two first-half layups. Whitmer finished with four. Duncan Roy finished with nine today. Duncan with four two-point baskets and finished one of two at the free throw line for his nine. Addison Wagler. Addison with a fast start. Addison finished with 15 points. Addison today finished with six two-point field goals and was three of three from the line. Addison finished with 15. Logan James led all scorers today, and we have already talked about Logan's exploits. Logan finished with a game-high 26 points. Logan had three three-point baskets. Logan had three two-point baskets. And Logan was 11 of 12 from the free throw line today for his 26 points. And maybe more importantly than that, Logan scored the last 16 points of the game for the Vikings in this effort today. Logan put the team on his back in the fourth quarter and delivered a victory to Montgomery. Bari wins it today, 56 to 54. We're going to take another timeout, and when we come back, we'll have more of the postgame show. Once again, Bari advances to next week's state championship game. They knock off Clay City, 56-54. Back to Seymour High School after this timeout. Hey, Dylan, Dane. Hey, Dane.
back at Seymour High School. Bar Reeve knocks off Clay City today, 56-54, a game that the Vikings trailed by 10 points in the third quarter. Bar Reeve switched defenses. They had played some 2-3 zones, some 3-2 zones, some man-to-man -man defense. Coach Brian Hughes dialed up some 1-3-1 one, one pressure, and that got the basketball game back into the pace and the way that Barry wanted it to be played. It did cause multiple turnovers. Clay City did get multiple second chance opportunities, rebounding long misses. But Barry wins it today, 56-54. Logan James scores the last 16 points of the game for Barry and the Vikings advance to Banker's Life Fieldhouse next week. Little update on that in case you have not heard. Next week, I've always heard wise men say that to sometimes make things right, you have to go back to the scene of the crime. And Barry will have to do that next week. It will be a rematch in the Class 1A state championship game. Marquette Catholic knocked off Liberty Christian today, 55-54. to 54. So Marquette Catholic will be aiming for their second consecutive Class 1A state championship. Bar Reeve in a wild 1A state championship game last year that saw a double-digit deficit and then a 10-point lead and then an overtime and then finally a 70-66 to 66 Marquette Catholic victory and Bar Reeve and Marquette Catholic will square off again next week for the championship game. So Marquette Catholic knocks off Liberty Christian 55 to 54, and that will set up game one next week at Baker's Light Fieldhouse. We're going to take one more timeout, and when we come back, we'll have the build ops and four tough player of the game, and we'll sign off. Once again, Bar Reeve wins it today, 56-54 over Clay City. Back to Seymour High School after this one-minute timeout. Hey, stop. She's down there. Just go down and look for her. I'm going to be right here. Final time here at Seymour today. Bar Reeve wins it. They knock off Clay City 56-54. Clay City with an unbelievable effort here this afternoon. <laughs> Literally did not miss a shot in the first quarter in what seemed like the first half. Bar Reeve with a defensive switch in the second half to a 1-3-1 half-court trap. And the Vikings able to force some turnovers, get the game at the pace that they wanted it. And Logan James scores the game's last 16 points, and the Vikings win it today, and they are going to go to Banker's Life Fieldhouse again next week, Bari 56-54. One little bit of hardware to pass out today, the Bill Dobson, fourth tough player of the game, and obviously a couple of great candidates today here for the Vikings. Addison Wagler with a very quick start for Bari. But the way that the game ended, it would be impossible and almost criminal to ignore Addison or to ignore Logan James as today's build option for tough player of the game. Logan with a game high 26 points, and like he's always done, Logan put his team on the uh, on his back when he needed it the most. Logan James closed the game, scoring the last 16 points for Barry, and Barry with a 56-54 victory to advance to next week's state championship game. Richmond and Evansville Wrights now 
heading on to the floor. Getting ready for game number two. And what a game it should be. A lot of Viking Nation may stick around for part of this one. I know I will. And uh, we will talk to you all next week. I'd like to thank Andy and Caleb Morrison back at the station, keeping us on air, online, and on time. I'd like to thank Dave Crooks for fans in the stands and the Barry tailgate party today. I'd like to thank Barry, the assistant principal and athletic director, Aaron Ash, as always, for his work on the caller here today. So one final time, Barry wins it today, 56-54. We'll talk to you next week from Banker's Life Fieldhouse. Good afternoon, everybody. Catch you later, Caleb. Thanks. <laughs>